Okay, so here's the scenario. If you are streaming off a PC, but you're playing on your Xbox, so you've got like a capture card or something, the headset can be a problem. You could have a thing where you want to talk to people on the Xbox, but also you want to be able to hear your stream and talk to the people on the stream as well. How do you get around that? I mean, I've seen a few people, not naming names, <clears throat> joking, where they wore like two headsets and they switched between them, one for PC, one for Xbox. Either that, or you can pay a lot of money for a really expensive headset, say like I've got a Logitech one that I had before where it can do a mixer and do it through both, or you can pay for like an audio mixer. The alternative I would say is you can use the Xbox app on your PC. If you've got a Windows 10 PC, there is an app called Xbox on there. If you sign in with your Xbox account that you're using to play on your Xbox, you can use Party Chat on your PC. So it means that when you're streaming, you can have your music, your stream audio, everything coming through here. But you can also have the voices of people that you're playing Xbox with coming through there as well. It can use your microphone as well, so not just audio, but microphone as well. So you can chat and talk and play to people while listening to all your stream stuff as well. So for me, for example, I have like stream alerts that make audio. I have uh, song requests so I can hear music as well. When someone asks me in the chat on the stream, I can hear that. I hear the game audio through my Elgato on the stream. And um, through the party chat, I can hear people talking and talk to them as well. And it's really easy to do. All you do, open the Xbox app on your PC. Make sure you sign in with the same account that you're using or you just sign in with any Xbox account that you want to join a party with these people. All you do is you can either go at the top here and create your own party. You can start a party right here. Or if you want to join someone else's party, you can find them online. Say right here, King Baby Bomb, it says he's in a party right now. You could click on their profile. Obviously, I'm not going to join his party, but it gives you an option right here. If the party is joinable, you click on it and join their party. It's as simple as that. And when you're in a party, you can go and start party right here. And what this would do is it basically puts you in a party chat where you can invite people in, you can change it to invite only, you can customize all of it like you can on the Xbox right now. So you can see here I am in the party chat. I can leave the party, I can do chat text, I can change it to invite only right there so other people can't join straight in. And I can invite people as well. If I want to invite people to the party, I can do that as well from there. It's literally as simple as that. You can manage your party from here. And it basically means that you could buy an audio. It means I only have to wear one headset when I'm streaming. I don't have to switch between Xbox and PC. My capture card does all the audio through here. I get all my stream audio, all my alerts, all my music go through here as well. It's as simple as that. And then my party chat can go through here as well. I personally don't tend to do party chat as much when I'm streaming, but it's a really easy solution. You just have the Xbox app open on your PC and you get audio coming through. Um, one thing that I've had as well before, I've had a few people say before that the Xbox app like crashes and closes on them. I found that it does that quite a lot if you minimize it. Even if you like have it open just like that, even if you don't want it full screen, you can put other stuff in front of it. But as long as it's like maximized, it seems to be fine. So I would recommend that as well. If you're getting any issues of it crashing, just make sure it's maximized, that it's never minimized down. It can be behind stuff, but as long as it's not minimized down, it's usually okay. And it's just a really easy way of chatting to people on Xbox. And obviously, you can also get the Xbox app on your phone as well, phone and tablet. And you can do the same thing. You could do party chats through it as well, which I think is really cool. Um, and yeah, it's just an easy way of doing Xbox chat combined with PC audio. And it just sort of brings it all together. So if you were looking for a way of um, keeping all your audio on your PC, but then also having the ability to chat to people on Xbox when you play with them, use the Xbox app on your PC. Use the party chat feature. It is as simple as that. But yeah, if you've got any other questions about the Xbox app or doing any sort of cross audio between platforms, let me know and I'm more than happy to help. Find me a question down in the comments there on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Discord. Message me on any of them. I'm always happy to help. Or jump into my stream, mixer.com forward slash smiler. Drop a message in the comments there. Just say about, oh, I need help with this, whatever. Can you help me out? What advice would you give? Fire away. I'm always happy to help. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in another video. Thank you.